Welcome, welcome. Let me let me tie up some loose ends here. Share a couple of links out. Share this on my timeline. And here we go. So, how's everybody doing tonight? So, I just want to say welcome to Mong Hustlers. All right, guys. Show number one. All right. So, uh, thanks you guys for joining. Um, I want to start out by uh, I had a lot of interest uh, on this. So, uh, so hopefully this sounds out to be great. Um, so let's let's begin. Um, it'll be quick. Uh, I, I predict that it will just take an hour of your time, and hopefully we all learn something and we can all collaborate collaborate on upon what we talk about. All right. So uh, welcome, welcome. We got two viewers so far. Uh, if you guys hear me, okay, give me some likes if you can, or uh, comment comment below. <laughs> that you can hear me, please. So at least I know that this is working, so I won't be talking throughout uh, this whole show with uh, nothing, uh, no audio or anything. So any likes, if you guys can hit some likes, uh, I would appreciate that. Anybody? Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Hope you guys are having a good night uh, so far. Oh, we got one comment. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, guys. So, Hmong hustlers, what's Hmong hustlers? So let's start with the word hustle, right? Hustle is, is a person who, who is a go-getter, okay? And it's also a person who, who wants to make a lot of money. Um, but on this show, we're gonna focus on Hmong hustlers. So we want just Hmong hustlers out here. So thanks you guys for joining, uh, four viewers so far. Um, and pretty much we're gonna use we're gonna use this page as 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 a kind of like a uh, as a networking uh, page, right? So we we get to know who these houses are. We can network with them, and we can all collaborate with each other, right? Because these are the experts in their field, right? So hopefully uh, we have a go-to guy at this point on any particular type of topic that we're gonna be talking about. So uh, if you guys uh, just joining in, welcome to our first show of Hmong Hustlers, right? I'm Chai Xiong, Hmong uh, Xiong, uh, Nyo Xiong, to everybody here. Uh, those of you guys are still coming. La Jie, La Zhao, Fishy Ta, right? <laughs> so how's everybody doing? Did you go do your interview with, hus with Hustlers yet? <laughs> No, all right. I know the name sounds kind of weird, but you know, and some of you guys have that dirty mind, but no, all right. So welcome you guys. You know, uh, throw comments below. I'll be reading them them throughout the show. Okay. <clears throat> all right. So what is this show going to be composed of? Right. This show is going to be composed of what my mentor teaches me. Right. The three things about money. Okay. How how do you make money? How do you save money and how do you multiply money? So we're gonna compose the show out of those three things, okay? Uh, and we're gonna bring guests onto the show and we're gonna ask them how they make their money, how they save their money, and how, how are they multiplying the money? So uh, as I mentioned before, you guys got anybody who, who you know are hustlers out there, comment their names below. I'll reach out to them. We'll ask them how they, how they are making their money. All right. Okay, cool. Uh, love my Monglish. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, what do you guys call it? Uh, Amika Mong, right? <laughs> so guys, like, like it's, it's easy to make money. It's also easy not to make money. So um, 
we're gonna we're gonna talk to these guys who are who are true hustlers out there uh, who are making money, and hopefully they can teach us how to make money so we all can benefit uh, and pull knowledge and network with each other to make money for ourselves. Okay. Um, why am I doing this? Just got a lot of love for you guys. That's all. A lot of love for the home community. All right. I just want us to be better people. That's all. All right, guys. Cool. Any questions? Ah, so if you guys haven't done it yet, like the page, share this page or share this video or which, whichever, um, I would appreciate it. Let's go ahead and help each other out. Um, and, uh, and, uh, hopefully we all become a better community, right? A better mold community. Okay. So within, within this interview, this, I'm going to, I'm just going to ask about three three questions out of our person who we're going to interview, right? So it's going to be the first thing I'm going to ask is, who are you? Okay. Second thing is, what do you do? And the third thing is, how do you make your money? And that's it, right? And that will be the conversation throughout the whole show. And then after those three questions, we're going to do a Q&A, okay? So I'll go through this these three questions with what I would ask somebody, but I'm going to go through it with me. So we all get an example of, of how, how this works and it should be easy. It should be easy. Okay, guys speak more, please. I am going to speak English guys, but I can speak more, but like I said, most of the youngsters here and the majority of the youngsters here are younger people. Um, just by doing, just by me posting on the page, I was able to see that the age range of who are interested in this particular uh, podcast or page was majority of 25 year olds and younger. So I'm going to speak English. And you guys, you know, I can speak Hmong, you know, <laughs> stuff like that, right? But we're going to focus on English because you know what? English is the primary language of this country, and you won't be successful without learning English. So I want you guys to learn English, you know. All right. Uh, are you green or white? I am white. All right. So the three questions I'm going to ask is, who are you? What do you do? And how do you make your money? So we'll start with me, right? Who am I? I'm Chai. Chai Shong, Mon Shong. Okay. Uh, born in Chicago. Um, went to middle school in Wisconsin. I uh, stayed in Milwaukee for a while. Uh, I got my middle school there, uh, degree or whatever it is over there. <clears throat> and then went to high school in Florida and graduate college in Florida. So still here. Okay. Simple, right, guys? Um, who am I again? Um, I manage this page, moanhustlers.com. Uh, I also manage multiple other uh, Facebook pages. Uh, one is uh, uh, Mo Marathon Runners. So if, if any of you guys are runners, uh, there's a group called Mo Marathon Runners. I've had completed two marathons already, uh, one in Disney down here uh, and one in Chicago. Uh, great run. If those of you guys who run marathons, Connect with us. We got a bunch of great uh, Hmong runners on that page. Uh, I also have a page called Hmong Proud. Um, proud to be Hmong. So uh, I've been slacking a little bit on that page. Uh, just use that to promote the Hmong people, get people to be aware of what Hmong people do, our culture and stuff like that. Uh, that's what I have uh, for, uh, for that Facebook page. Um, the other one is... Uh, I studied Jeet Kune Do. Uh, that's, if you guys don't know martial arts, that's Bruce Lee's um, uh, style, which Bruce Lee doesn't like to call it a style, but uh, I manage a Jeet Kune Do martial art Facebook page group also. All right. And then uh, I invest in real estate. So I also have another group called Home Real Estate Investors Group. So if you guys who like to invest in real estate, there's a group called Home Real Estate Investors. You guys can look it up and 
we have about 1,700 Hmong real estate investors in that group. So look it up on Facebook if you guys want to join. Uh, only for Hmong people, I, I weed them out. So only Hmong people who can join. Okay, and we collaborate a lot in there. So <clears throat> if you guys are interested in real estate, go in there. Um, and then um, I'm a big component about volunteering uh, for your community. So I also volunteer for our Flora Hmong community. Uh, I help them do their websites and I help them do their Facebook page. So um, you guys always look to volunteer. That's also a big benefit uh, that, you know, it's good to volunteer and help out your community. And I do that for free. All right, so 24 viewers, appreciate you guys coming on here. Uh, if you haven't, uh, get you guys to like or share uh, this particular video or page so we can get the word out on this. Uh, a couple things came in. What is your work ethics in saving as a teenager? Lawrence, ethics, I had none. <laughs> <laughs> I had no money back then, bro. <laughs> I was just making enough money to survive, right? But I was learning, okay? Back in as a teenager, I was, I was, I was always learning. I was always going to like uh, Barnes and Nobles, you know, back then. And just, just, you know, I didn't like the library for some reason. The library was just like dirty. So I used to go to Barnes and Noble because, you know, you had better quality people there. And you just go there and you just kind of like, you, you got the books like freshly fresh nice and smelling good like brand new books and just i just open them up and read them and that's you know i used to ride my bikes you know uh over there and just that's my that's my library all right okay take that out <clears throat> so put this back in all right so so uh, where am I? Who am I? Uh, that's that's what I am. So the next question is, what's the next question? What do I do, right? I'm IT guy. You know, I uh, graduated uh, uh, graduated with a MIS degree, which stands for Management Information Systems. Um, but currently, I'm just doing tech support. <laughs> Because you just call it tech support, tech support. <laughs> but I'm a big component of uh, of um, trying to trying to find ways. Well, basically, what happens is you know I um, got laid off, right? Got laid off from my, my IT job. So I told myself, you know, this won't happen again. You know, I, I did not like that feeling. So what happened was I got laid off and. I told myself, if I ever to get a job again, I need to find a second stream of income, right? Just in case this happens again. Because this is a scary feeling, right, guys? You have a family. Well, at that time, it was just me and my wife. So I was like, man, my wife's probably going to think I'm a loser, you know? So that was my fear, right? So when I got my job back, uh oh, is there, is there frozen? You guys hear me? If you guys hear me, give me some likes or comments. Looks like it's frozen. No, it's not frozen, but give me some comments. You guys still hear me? Give me some likes. Anybody? Send me some likes. Likes. Nobody? Let me know if I'm still active. Oh, there we go. Thanks, guys. So, got laid off, um, saying, okay, you know, I got I to gotta find some second stream income just in case uh, this happens again. And, and I was listening to Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Mr. Robert Kiyosaki. Uh, and I, anybody know this guy? If you guys know this guy, let me see some, uh, some likes there or some, some hearts. But um, he's what changed... Awesome, cool. Few of you guys there. So yeah, he he was uh he he kind of changed my life around. So I, I was mowing the yard one day and I was listening to him. I think it was on YouTube or something, and he's he was talking about like uh, passive income, right? 
where if you uh, if if you find something that that makes money for you while you're not working, and that's what that's what got me. So uh, if you guys never heard of this guy, look him up. Just type in Rich Dad, Robert Kiyosaki. Changed my life around. But <clears throat> but that's what I do. I I'm an IT guy and I do real estate and I do many other things. But today we're just going to talk about real estate. Okay. Um, next question. How do I make money? All right. So, uh, this topic today is just about landlording. Uh, some of you guys know me, uh, as the landlord guy. Um, few of you guys use that as my nickname, the landlord. <laughs> so I have about 10 single family rentals and then I have an eight unit, uh, 10 single family in Florida. Then I have a eight unit uh, apartment building in Milwaukee and I have a duplex in uh, Milwaukee as well. So that is about 20 uh, rental uh, incomes coming toward me uh, every month. So, but today I'm just gonna talk about how, how, how I made 100, about to make 100K on one of my rentals because I'm trying to, trying to transfer to a different business source. So um, today we're gonna to talk about just that, okay? How's everybody doing? Chuck Norris, <laughs> there's a lag. Oh man, I don't know what to do, man. Sorry about the lag. So keep going, we can hear you awesome. I hear you, it's not frozen. All right, guys. So talking about me, I did the numbers already. Uh, those of you, uh, are in my real estate group. Uh, I did the video, I think two days ago. And so you guys have more details about this deal than uh, some of you guys who just joined. But uh, those of you guys who want to know about this deal, um, you can join the group. It's just uh, Mon Real Estate Investors. Look it up on Facebook, Mon Real Estate Investors Group. Uh, that's what we collaborate the most in. There's a page, that's just the page, but the, the group itself, uh, that's where we all live and breathe and talk about real estate. So look it up, uh, Home Real Estate Investors, and I'll have more detail about how the numbers look like in that page. But I'll just show you guys just the gist of it. Uh, let me go ahead and share my page. Um, get the show up and then... I want to broadcast it here and then I want to make it smaller. You guys see that? Okay. And then I want to drag this over here and you guys see this? Okay. Let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit. What do you guys see? You guys see? You guys see, uh, we are live, Tiger. Thanks for joining, Tiger. What's up, bro? Uh, Matthew Tuzong, Civic, Yang, Moa, L-Y, Tu, more, more. <laughs> David. Thanks, you guys, for joining. Uh, I was calling you guys out. Um, anybody see? Zoom in more. Oh, you guys want to see? Zoom in more. Okay, you guys see the numbers? How about that a little bit? Can't see any. Yeah, you won't see. It's not as good as your phone. So, uh, uh, it'll probably look better on a computer. It's small myself. <laughs> you guys need to get on the computer. <laughs> but basically, what it is is, uh, I went to the stats. Most of you guys saw my video through a computer. 95% of you guys use computers. You see my, my last video. So uh, if you guys go back and look down your, um, I even went back on my test, my test, and then the video looks better on a computer. So uh, let me zoom out so it doesn't look so freaky uh, when you guys get back on the computer. But pretty much, uh, this is a spreadsheet kind of uh, on a real estate, famous real estate site. Dang, you're killing me. <laughs> Hey, Chu, that, uh, this is the same deal we talked about the other day. So, uh, uh, this is kind of like a rerun. So, uh, so the numbers that we talked about the other day looks good for my phone. All right, Peter. Great. Thanks. So this is the deal. Uh, I bought this back five years ago, guys. 
All right, five, five years ago, this is the address. All right, so those of you, it's in Florida, uh, 4423 Beagle Street, Orlando, Florida, 32818. If you guys want to look it up, bought this back up, and I'll do a, uh, I'll show you guys um, what it looks like on a picture. Those pictures are good. So, Turn phone sideways. All right, guys. This is what it looks like. If you guys are familiar with Zillow, most of you guys are because Zillow is pretty popular. Um, this is what it looks like. It's a three bedroom, two baths. Bought it for ninety five thousand uh, five years ago. Okay, and only had one tenant in it, which is awesome. All right, one tenant in it paying. Paying. This is what it looks like in the picture. There you go. That's what it looks like. Had had like blue carpet. How many of you guys like blue carpet? I mean, who build who makes blue carpet, right? So this is like the kitchen, right? This is like the pantry. And this is like over here is where the the washer and dryer is at. And the front door is right here. And the living room is over here. And this is like the master bathroom where it has a tub and it has like two sinks, right? So, and then, you know, th this is the other sink and the shower is behind it. This is like the, here is the, the other sh uh, sh bathroom. And this is like one of the bedrooms. And that's it. This is what the house looks like. So I bought it for 95,000. 95, and we just go back to the numbers here. 95,000. Let me go ahead and edit this, edit this so you can see what it looks like. So basically the address, you put in the numbers, the property taxes were like, uh, was a lot lower, but uh, last year was was $2,725. So I went and I'm gonna put in the numbers and show you how I made my money, right? So put my taxes in, purchase price was 50, 95K, 95,000 for that house, right? Um, the purchase uh, closing cost put about five thousand. Put twenty percent down at, at a four point nine nine interest rate. Okay, thirty year mortgage. We went then, and I had one. Like I said, I had one tenant that moved in. I charged them twelve hundred for for the rent. Okay, uh, so when you charge them somebody for you know rent. You know, it's a house, you don't pay the electricity, you don't pay the water. So the, all the I had to pay was pretty much the HOA, right? The HOA for that community, which was 19 bucks, you know, a month. And then my insurance for the house is 66 bucks a month. So uh, that's what I came up to. Uh, property tax, if you did the math, it's about 22, 227 uh, in property tax. So, uh, how many how many people think this is a great deal for uh, twelve hundred a month? Anybody? Just want to see if there's some reactions here. See some reactions. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Thirty six comments. Let's see here. Let's go on. Anybody got any questions so far? Twenty nine viewers. You guys want to, You guys want to, You guys think this is a great deal? Let's see some likes. No, no likes. Some sad faces. It looks like a good deal. <laughs> so let me show you. In your mind, what do you guys think? How much this this is going to produce as far as income? Just come up with a number in your head as far as all all this, you know, expense and everything. In your mind, just come up with your head. See how much it, it costs. Passes the legit. That's right. It's okay. Save so say this is okay deal. All right. Okay. So let me show you guys. Let me show you guys what this deal is. Uh, how, how much I made money per month on this deal, right? Five years ago. So usually, if you, you guys are if you aren't familiar with this spreadsheet, basically what it is is us us real estate guys. We where are you familiar with it? So pretty much, um, <clears throat> I threw down to buy this this real estate real estate deal. I threw down twenty four thousand right here. I know you guys don't see it, but I threw down twenty four thousand on this real estate deal, and. It provided me 480 bucks after all the expense uh, and profit per month. 
What do you guys think? Is that good? Huh? How many of you guys will like, how many, how, how much will $480 change your life per month for some of you guys? Just want to know. Just curious. What do you guys think? Likes? No? Not much? Not bad? All right. Okay. Ying says not bad. Not bad. Right? 480 bucks. That's a lot of Happy Meal for me. That's eat, die when you scale it. <laughs> right? Kong says, nice. All right, 480 bucks, you know, after all expense, pretty much you think about it. This tenant is paying, if you really think about it, this tenant is paying the mortgage for this property, right? They're paying this property for me and I'm getting 480 bucks on top of that, right? I mean, there, there are times where, yeah, you might have to go fix something, but you know, hey, whatever, right? You'll make it back. 480 times 12 adds up, right? Just kind of what Yang says. What's the mortgage? What's the mortgage? I'll show you guys exactly. Here you go. So here's the mortgage and interest right here, right? I think Karen was saying, Karen is saying, what's the mortgage right here? The numbers shows you everything. The mortgage right here shows 407. That's the mortgage and interest per month on it. All right, so what's the mortgage? Four hundred. Okay, so Yang was saying four eighty times twelve adds up. I'll show Yang. I'll show you what it is at the end of the year. All right, my annual cash flow. I don't know if you can see it. Annual cash flow for the year was five thousand seven hundred sixty-four. Is that? I mean, I don't know. Is that good for you guys? to get an extra $5,764 a year where somebody's paying off something that you own and then you're just getting additional income from? What do you guys think? <laughs> Ying says, I'm interested. How do you get started? <laughs> Bro, yeah, I don't know if you're in the home real estate group, but if you haven't, look it up and just add it in there, man. We talked about this every day okay so an extra five thousand uh a year I, I don't know if that's gonna make or break you guys but let's say you have four or five of them maybe ten of them like me oh yeah what's uh what's what's let me do the math for you guys right so so let's say five seven six four times ten that's 57,000. Right. Isn't that another job for most of you? If you have 10 of these, I eat, uh, I already read that comment. That's eat, die, rinse, and repeat. <laughs> Man, what is this eat, die thing? <laughs> so 10 guys, if you get just 10 of these, that's like another paycheck, bro. Or y'all, or sis or i don't know what you guys that's like another person so if your wife is making i don't know for me if your wife's making i don't know 50k you're making 50k this is like another 50k well this is 57k you have like another person working for you guys so uh, this is like income and this is what we call you know a second stream income this is my second stream income okay guys this is how this is how we multiply our money Right? Three rules about money. You make money, you save money, and then you take that saved money to multiply money. All right? I'm all in. Lana says, I'm all in. All right, cool. Cool. So if you guys haven't, share this. Hopefully, you know, we can get some people to invest in real estate. Hey, those money flowing in without you working. That's exactly right, Yang. Money coming in without me working. I mean, eh. I might have to go and fix some toilets some days, you know, but what the heck? I mean, it's not like all the time your toilet, their toilet, 
toilet's breaking, right? You fix it once and you might break again maybe in the next few months. I mean, I only fix so far at all my rentals, I probably only replace zero toilets. <laughs> I'm not replacing any toilets. I have gone and plunged a toilet, but that's it. Okay. So, you know, I mean, there's the invasion and stuff like that. Not for this house. It's these, these tenants, this tenants was pretty good. They took care of the property. But let me show you guys. So, so let me show you what's the best thing about, about investing or being a landlord in real estate. So, and <clears throat> so you guys see this number here? This is the cash on cash return. Uh, cash on cash. Uh, what that means is that how much, how much money I put in, which is 24,000, how much money I'm, I'm getting back per year. Right, so that's twenty four percent per year. So if you guys do the math, so let me throw out a calculator so some of you guys can see because I'm more visual. I can't. For me, I can't. I can't. Um, uh, I can't imagine in my head. But some of you guys are more visual. If if I put in twenty four thousand, right, I shell out twenty four thousand, and I'm making. Uh, 24 percent of that uh, back. So the amount that I get per year was what twenty five thousand seven six whatever. Divide that by five thousand seven hundred sixty four. I get all my money back in four years. Boom! What do you guys think about that? Huh? What do you think about that? What do you guys think? I'm interested in bigger property. You own multi-fly, man. <laughs> Karen. Yes. Yes. The bigger, the better, right? Wow, right? Wow. There we go. Wow. So, we, so what do you guys... So, if you guys imagine, like, okay, so you're going to put... So, you guys imagine, you're going to put... Um, I want to put 24000 in a property that somebody's paying the mortgage and stuff for. And then every month I get, what was it? Every month I get 480 bucks back. And in four years, I'll get all my money back from the profit. What do you guys think of that? Is that amazing or what? Profits is better. This is awesome right here. Fong, thanks for... Profits is better than wages. Absolutely. It's all about the profits. And I even talked to you guys about depreciation and taxes and stuff like that. This is just purely, I'm making 480 bucks per month. <clears throat> and I get all my money back in four years. That's if everything is, you know, consistent, right? We're just assuming everything is, you know, whatever. Consistent, nothing's changed. Can't wait when you talk about units, properties. <laughs> All right, okay, okay. <laughs> so, so what do you guys think? Some thumbs up? Love it? Nah, not for me. Nah, 480 bucks, too little. Come on. I'll do this all day long, guys. All day long. Times 10, times 20. Oh my gosh, this is crazy, right? And they're paying your property down. So let's say, so let me show you how, I, I know I, I kind of, uh, I know I kind of, uh, three thumbs up, all right. So we don't pay taxes. Man, <laughs> we, have, we have a real estate pro in here, guys, called Chuku. <laughs> all right, Fong says I'm, he's learning, Fong. Awesome, Fong. I hope you learned. This is what we're here for, right? We're here to to teach each other, to to make each other better, right? Because if I mean, I, I keep telling, I keep telling our whole community that if this ain't a secret, man, this is just us. If we if we help each other, when technically we're all technically we're all family, 
right? Us Hmong people, we're all family in, in some way or another, right? So technically, if I help you, I may not know it, but you may just be my cousin, or you may just be somebody who's related to me, which I just don't know. So if I improve your life, or you improve my life, we're all helping family out anyways. So that's that's the great part about us Hmong people, okay? And that's why I created this page, because I want us all to learn uh, how to improve your life, because if you, if you improve your life, you improve your kid's life, you improve your grandma's life, you improve pretty much your, your community, we all become a better person. Are you also real estate or just? I am not an agent. I'm just an investor, guys. You don't need to be an agent to do this. So if you guys are thinking that I need to be a real estate agent, I need to go to school for this, no. Nope. You just need to have that 24K, maybe have some good credit, throw that money down, make 480 bucks uh, per month within five years. That money is pretty much 100% invested back. You can take that money and you say, okay, what can I do with that? Because you just made all your money back. And then from there on, you can just keep making that 480 bucks, right? You can just keep making that 480 bucks a month until 30 years later and then the house is free and clear. And you can do whatever you want with it. That's a different story. But you guys are here because I, I kind of tease you guys about the 100K. So, so there's certain ways, there's more ways to make money in this. And I'm just showing you guys one way on how to make money in this real estate deal. But I just thought, what was your first investment? Uh, maybe I'll go through that one day. Huh? So, 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 I'm getting, like I tell you guys, I'm getting ready to do a different different uh, real estate deal. So I'm getting ready to exit this deal. And it's been five years, right? So I made my 24K back already. <clears throat> but I'm selling it, right? And and like I said, there's different ways to make real, money in real estate. This is just normal appreciation for, for a real estate. Um, and I'm getting ready to sell it. So when, when, I, when I was going to sell it, let me go back to Zillow here. I don't know if you guys saw this. Let me zoom in. What does that say right there, guys? What does the Zillow estimate, the Z estimate, say this house is worth now when I bought it for, for 95K back five years ago? What do you guys think that's worth now? What, what, what does that Z estimate say? k That's right. <laughs> you guys like that number? What do you think? What do you think? Is that a good number? <clears throat> so let me show you guys. Let me show you guys what happened. Let me switch back. Money, huh? Sivvy says money. Money is what we want. Eat, die again. <laughs> <coughs> All right. This is the offer I had the, the other day. This is an email I just did a screenshot off uh, two days ago. <clears throat> this is the offer. The offer was 218K <clears throat> out of everything. So just, just imagine 218K. So how do, how do I get, so how do I get that 100K? Uh, let me just, let me just do a number with you guys, right? 2 and 18, <clears throat> actually, the 2 and 25, 2 and 25 times, I have still have to pay commission to those, uh, those pesky, uh, the pesky real estate agents, right? It's because they want their, their commission, right? So I paid, uh, I'll, I'll be paying them 13,000. Right, so thirteen thousand minus uh, two two five zero zero, so that comes up to two eleven, <clears throat> two eleven, right? And then I still have to pay off my mortgage, right? So six, I think I had like sixty six thousand in my mortgage. 
So my mortgage was 66,000 last, and now I'm at, I'm netting 145. If I told you guys 100K, I'm netting 145, right? But you guys didn't sell it. <laughs> yes, it is being sold. It is clean. We did accept the offer on it, guys. So let me go ahead and switch back. So we did accept the offer on it. So that's, you know, we're netting 140 something. Uh, my is all kinds of fees and stuff like that. And uh, that's it. I mean, this is this is just normal appreciation. Uh, just, you know, hanging on to it for five years. I mean, some some markets are better. Uh, unfortunately, you know, <clears throat> those of you in Minnesota, uh, the market is crazy up there. Florida is crazy down here. You know, the market over here is crazy too. So, um, and this is how this is how you make money. Uh, how many of you guys think that real estate is gonna keep going up? What do you guys think? I think it will. So, <clears throat> uh, so I'm gonna continue to buy real estate. Uh, this is something that I like. Uh, a couple questions here. What's the new best offer now? <laughs> there ain't no new offer. I already accepted the deal, bro. <laughs> Says here. Uh, says your new says you're gonna use that money to buy a multiplex. Oh, Moa says that. Uh, Moa, I'm gonna do vacation rentals. If you haven't know, I'm doing vacation rentals. Uh, the percentage is a little bit better than multiplexes right now, so I'm going to vacation rentals right now. All right, come on, questions, man. Love those numbers. What site is that? This site here is called biggerpockets.com. If you go there. They have a calculator uh, under the tools here, and then you can do, you can use your tools. And I think they will give you um, five attempts to play with it. And then uh, I think they charge you an amount for it. I paid for it just so it looked nice and pretty. And you know, you, <clears throat> you kind of want to keep your numbers right. Numbers will keep climbing. Uh, yeah, Peter. That is right. Peter is a real estate agent in Florida. If you guys uh, looking to invest in Florida, contact Peter. He's a real estate agent in Florida. Um, yep. So that's how I make my money, guys. Um, like I said, we're going to talk about three things on the show. Things about money. How you make money, how you save money, and how you multiply money. This topic here is how I multiply my money. Okay. We can go to different fields on these three topics, but that's how we, this is what the show is going to be about. So like I said, like, and share this page, uh, share the video. We want to improve everybody. I want to thank you guys for joining. Um, anything else? Questions, questions before, before I let you guys go. <clears throat> what do you guys think you guys like this let me see some hearts some likes you guys like you guys like what you're seeing or what do you like if you don't like it let me know comment below but what i really want is i need some people i need some people let me go ahead and switch back here and back and so let me so let me see if there's some questions here thanks for all sharing wisdom ah no worries peter i'm here to help everybody right this is not anything new you can google it but this is for our home folks because I want to see every every one of us become successful. Our home folks here. <clears throat> uh, I do like if you guys know anybody uh, that you guys want me to interview on how they make their money. If you guys comment their names below, I'll reach out to them and I'll interview them, and hopefully they spread their knowledge about how they make their money. Um, because you know what. Uh, you guys are awesome because you know you guys are success, successful people and i always want to say successful successful people 
uh, always talk about ideas, right? And let me just throw out this last graphic here for you guys, because I always follow. I always follow this this comment here. Let me switch back, and I'll. Uh, I can't switch it back. Right here. <clears throat> Successful people talk about ideas, right? And we're all here to talk about ideas on how to make money. Unsuccessful people gossip about others. And I see this everywhere with all these groups, all these phone groups. They always talk about people. They're always talking crap about people. Always talking about stuff that aren't making them money, aren't making their lives any better. And this is what I want to start out with is we can all change each other's lives just by talking about ideas, right? When we start talking about ideas, we start talking about how to make money. You start making money, your life is going to be way better than it is currently. All right. So like, share again. Uh, uh, I'll post this on YouTube. Um, I don't know, I'll share this out as many as I, places I can. Sh I can, but I need your help. Uh, if you guys like this, like I said, uh, if you got any tips to make this better, comment below. Let me know. Uh, if you know people who who you want me to interview, comment. I'll reach out to them. And uh, that's it. Let's see if there's any further questions. Thanks for all the info, bro. No problem, Wa. Help me retire in seven years. Bro, Chu, you you are already a millionaire. <laughs> Anybody else? All right. So, like I said, quick show. Hopefully, we get some big power players in here. Uh, this is the standard for the show. And uh, you guys have a good night. Thanks for joining this show. Bye, guys.